family of that 15 year old tonight filing a $5 million notice of claim against the officer and the police department. He was one of five arrested during the platform melee in Brooklyn Saturday, but his family claims he wasn't involved in the fight and was simply a bystander. I would assume reporter Joe Torres with the story. He's live in downtown Brooklyn. Joe. Bail the perspective of the parents of Benjamin Marshall, along with their attorney and civil rights activists, is this, that the teenager should not be the one charged with assaulting a police officer, that it should be flip-flopped. They say it's the officer who should face charges of assault for attacking and punching the teenager, a teenager who they say was doing nothing wrong at the time. He suffered a punch straight to the face, a punch captured on video. It is a police punch that could cost the city of New York $5 million. Cell phone video shows one of New York's finest slugging 15-year-old Benjamin Marshall as officers arrive to quell a wild melee on a downtown Brooklyn subway station platform Saturday afternoon. Today, the teenager and his parents gathered at the law office of attorney Sanford Rubenstein to announce the filing of a $5 million notice of claim against the city. He went down to the J Street train station to retrieve his bag and while he was there he was punched multiple times by one of New York's finest. The only way that we're going to get changed is if those police officers who commit criminal acts are, hold, are held accountable and put in jail. If that doesn't happen nothing's going to change. Police brass placed the officer assigned to the 84th precinct on non-enforcement duty. Because of the pending litigation, Police Commissioner James O'Neill offered few details about the officer's actions, but he did say... Any violence on a subway platform is especially dangerous. People have a responsibility, a duty to comply with the police. The teenager's mother told reporters her son has never been in trouble before. Victoria Noel said her teenage boy can't sleep, has missed school, and is still suffering physically. He has a concussion. Uh, he has a wound on, his, on, the, on the forehead. He had swelling on, on the temple, and he had a bruise in the back of his neck. Now, job reassignment and additional training will do nothing to minimize the outcry and the outrage from the parents and civil rights activists who say the accused officer should be fired and again should be prosecuted. And they plan to make their voices heard again on Monday when they have a march tentatively scheduled, a march that will go from the J Street Station all the way to the 84th Police Precinct.